Lindsay, if you had to pick between Formula One and Rally, who do you reckon would be the best in terms of driving ability? Tough one. Tough one because they obviously both require a lot of skill, but Rally is probably more so because mm. it's less predictable. We're just teasing you because we know where we're going with this. Ignition right GT on, <laughs> has been given the most incredible opportunity. We get to test drive the brand new Subaru WRX STI on one of the WRC stages in Japan. I mean, it just, it just doesn't pinch me. Okay, this really is a pinch because in the reality of it, we are actually going to be playing PlayStation 3, the new WRC game, and we have ourselves a Scooby on the screen, and we've put the TV in the boot. Why? Because... It's got a boot. The boot is back. And the hatch is gone. One thing that hasn't gone anywhere is the outrageous looks. Its menacing appearance is enough to send other drivers scattering when you loom up in their rear view mirrors. This is not the sort of car you use to pop down to the shop set. Instead, the STI is more at home on the special stages of the WRC on the Nürburgring, where it clocked the fastest lap time of any four-door sedan. And since that particular flying lap was done by Tommy Mackinnon, a four-time World Rally Champion, we thought the game might give us a chance to hone our own skills. You ready? Yeah. There are your keys. <laughs> you got me a Go. late start. I'm rubbish at this, by the way, just so you know. I'm really bad. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? Doesn't mean you're a bad driver, Lindsay. Oof. Don't you? You probably want me to test drive cars like this all the time. Ah, uh, yeah, because you just if you crash, then we can just control alt reboot. Where's the handbrake on this thing? <laughs> I like that line you took, that highlight. <laughs> so, should I not be asking you how the new uh, Subaru um, WRX STI handles, Lindsay? <laughs> she, can't, she can't multitask. You know. Um, <laughs> What's the handling like? The handling. The handling is, 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 wow. is about as good as my performance on here, to don't, be honest. How do I reverse? D d don't, you, don't you reckon... You play. You don't play, you, don't you reckon Sabara is probably really relieved that uh, this isn't the real deal? Um, look, I must admit, in terms of performance and power, they are up there with what we were enjoying with the Focus RS. 120. Well, it's, it's also the, the engine hasn't changed. It's still a 2.5 flat. And that turbo, I mean, it turbo. really it really is impressive. It's probably one of the best things about the car is the engine, but I must admit, we've got the volume turned down now. I don't know if I could drive that every day. It is flipping loud. It I really think it's awesome. I think you look like a bit of a chop driving it. But How unusual. <laughs> Me look like a chop. <laughs> oh, my word. Uh, yeah, but it's... Um, look, I think in terms of looks, the wing is so loud. I mean, it's... It's, it's one of the... It looks like an aftermarket stuck on. I mean, it if, does. If the drone that comes out of the engine um, isn't enough to remind you of what you're driving, what you've got to do is look in your rearview mirror yes. because uh, you've got an ironing board there. But the biggest difference with the new oh. WRX STI, apart from the fact that they've dropped the Impreza from the name yeah. and that it's obviously now got the boot back, is in the suspension and the yeah. handling. They've changed the bushings. <laughs> well, the thing with it, with it is, I mean, all-wheel drives, and in particular the STI, was kind of renowned for horrible understeer. Yeah. And um, by firming things up on the suspension, obviously coming with that, I think it's that SI driver program where you yeah. can go into sport sharp or into sharp or into intelligent, yeah. um, you get to fiddle with the torque figures as well. So yeah. that's made a big difference. Yeah. Um, but does it on the track? I mean, driving that car on the track, I really expected a lot more. I mean, I've never driven a, uh, we, we drive the first, Impressor yeah, hatch. That but, was my first uh, um, ST. I expected it to handle a little better. Kind of like me. No, look, that, <laughs> look the hand, you know what, I've, I've realized, you actually, it's one of those cars you can't just carry a whole bunch of speed into. Oh, you, um, you're saying this to me? Yes. <laughs> you, you know I don't drive that way. You, you, <laughs> can't, you can't just carry a whole bunch of speed into the corner. You've actually got to really do your braking properly yeah. and come on that power because yeah. it is going to understeer. But yeah. there, there's some fun settings because obviously in auto mode it sits on 50-50 uh, rear and front bias. Yeah. But you can then put it into manual mode and choose to actually favor the rear completely. Yeah. So you're getting more of a rear wheel drive feel out of it, which I think is, is where the fun's going to come into it. That you're actually yeah. going to find less understeer as a result. But unbelievable performance. I mean, I know RS is kind of tipping it in yeah. terms of kilowatts and torque. Ooh, wow. Ooh, nasty. How did you like that? Um, <laughs> it's tipping it in terms of uh, literally everything there. But what I am impressed with is that they've gone and brought their price down. Yeah. They needed to because I think yeah. the old model, old generation was 515 odd. And this they've brought in. Um, Just under 500. Yeah, and they but needed now, to. would you buy this over an RS or not? 
you know what, I'm actually gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say that I think the RS is a better car for everyday driving. Mm. It felt like a normal car and maybe that's the problem. Is that if you're buying if you're buying this car, you don't want any normal. So you're out, loud and proud. I loved driving this during the day because it is rough, and it's that roughness that makes it so appealing. That it's yeah. so different from a normal everyday car, and you stand out in the crowd. So actually, we were agreeing with each other, Lindsay, and maybe yeah. that RS was just a little bit too everyday. Yeah. Um, but this, I still seriously do worry. I mean, you think a, a mother-in-law goes on, the drone of this is like, is like Nathaniel in your ear for hours. <laughs> You're actually quite talented. You've managed to like talk sense while driving, I am the not too badly. I've earned a trophy. I'm the only guy who can multitask. <laughs> Put that yeah. in your boot and smoke it.